Welcome, welcome to the Zoomerplex. You at home, you're in for an hour of some fabulous music. We've got a studio audience here. Most of them are pretty good looking. And some of them have been drinking. So this is to celebrate the anniversary of one of Canada's legends. And maybe that, name, that word, legend, gets thrown around too much. Stompin' Tom is the epitome of a legend. And to prove that, we've got a band that was so close to him, you'd almost swear they were twins. Ladies and gentlemen, Duncan Fremlin and Whiskey Jack, right here. Every show we did was Stompin' Tom. We started with this song. And you always knew it was gonna be a great party because it always started with these four words. It's but the spot from, from the bright red, red mud rolling down the highway smiling. smiling. The spots are big on the back of Bud's Reagan. And they're from Prince Edward Island. They're from Prince Edward Island. Now from Charlottetown or Summerside, they load him up for the big long ride. He hops in the cab and he's off with the prime Sebagas. He's got to catch the boat to make Tormentine as he heads up the old New Brunswick line. Through Montreal, he's just a flying with another big load of potatoes. Yeah. He's spot the spot from the bright red mud, rolling down the highway, smiling. The spuds are big on the back of Bud's Reagan. They're from Prince Edward Island. They're from Prince Edward Island. Now, as we all know, the old PP, they don't think much of Bud. The cops have been looking for the son of a gun. See, on the 401, the name of the truck shines up in the sun. Green, Green Gables. Gables. He makes Toronto around 7 o'clock. He backs her up to the terminal dock. All the fellas gather around just to hear him talk with another big load of potatoes. It's Bud the Spud from the bright red mud rolling down the highway smiling. The Spuds are big on the back of Bud's rig and they're from Prince Edward Island. They're from Prince Edward Island. Randy Morrison, give it a golden. about now Tom would take a minute he'd introduce the band we have back here a virtuoso on the drums he's been playing with pretty much every Canadian big star for most of his life he's from Montreal he's played with the Good Brothers and here he is playing for Whiskey Jack and we're just honored to have him his name is Al Cross make him feel welcome back here on the bass he's from the home of General Motors Oshawa <laughs> He's been playing bluegrass, jazz, country, Terry Sumption. Do you remember a band called the Humber River Valley Boys? That was him. His name is Eric Jackson. Make him feel well. And you're going to get to hear a little bit later just an amazing virtuoso, one of the great talents in, in Canadian country music on the fiddle. His name is Randy Morrison from King Carden, Ontario. Time Juno Award nominee. Songwriter extraordinaire. You're going to hear one of his great songs a little bit later. Uh, all around good guy, fantastic singer, multi instrumentalist, to my right hand man, Douglas John Cameron. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the instigator and the coordinator of the Whiskey Jack, the best banjo player on the stage right at this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Duncan Fremlin. I know a lot of people from east to west because they like the spuds from the island best because they stand up to the ultimate test right on the, on table. the table. So when you see the big rig rolling by, I want you to wink your eye and flap your thing and it's but the spud from old PEI with another big load of potatoes. But the spud from the red red mud rolling down the highway smiling. The spuds are big on the back of Bud's rig and they're from Prince Edward Island. They're from Prince Edward Island. It's but the spud from the red red mud rolling down the highway smiling. And he's smiling, folks, because he knows he's got the best potatoes that's ever been grown. And they're from Prince Edward Island. They're from Prince Edward Island.
Now this is a very complicated song about a very long and arduous journey. And I want you to pay close attention because we'll be checking in with the audience later on to see how much you've retained. It's a kind of a comprehension test. Do you remember those? It goes like this. Have you heard the news in Newfoundland? It's rolling round the rock. Reggie brought for Margie home a cowsy dungsy clock. Margie being a farm girl, well, she almost threw a fit when she found out that that cowsy clock was really made of. You can't say that on Zoomer radio. Oh, the clock was from Toronto and her mind was soon made up. She says to Reggie, get the cow and load her in the truck. We're headed to Ontario. We gotta make her big. Cause Margot got the cargo boy and Reggie got, got the rig. rig. Everybody, Reggie's got the rig. Reggie's got the rig. Margo got the cargo boy and Reggie got the rig. They were rolling through the Maritimes. The truck was almost full. The cow begins to bawl because she's lonesome for the bull. The Mountie pulls him over and he says, is there anything I can do? Go right ahead, sir, Margie said. Jump in the back and move. And when they get to Montreal, they miss the auto route. But they found that everyone in town was glad to help them out. The sooner you get to Toronto, the sooner you'll make her big. Cause Margot got the cargo boy and Reggie's got the rig. Reggie's got the rig. Reggie's got the rig. Margot got the cargo boy and Reggie's got the rig. The truck was overflowing when Toronto hit the rise. The 401 was full of dung and the cab was full of flies. We're losing lots of money, Reg. We can't afford to stop. We gotta find the place that makes the cowsy dungsy clock. Well, I wish you could have seen them at the corner of Queen and Young. When Margie found the company and she dropped her load of dung. And when she found the office, she was smiling and doing a jay cuss. Margo got the cargo boy and Reggie's got the rig. Everybody, Reggie's got the rig. Reggie's got the rig. Margo got the cargo boy and Reggie's got the rig. Okay, boys, bring her down. So how's it going so far? Do you understand what has happened in the story? So the couple in Newfoundland loaded the cow into the pickup truck. They collected the manure all the way across Atlantic Canada, the Belle Provence, into Ontario to dump it, that load of manure, at the corner of Queen and Young. And who happened to be standing right there at that moment? The Premier of Ontario was standing right there at that moment, and guess what? He got shit on his shoes! This is where they fell uh, afoul of the law. It was later in the... I guess these are Doug Ford supporters, eh? Am I in trouble? Here we go. It was later in the evening when they heard from Mr. Judge. He says, I don't know what to give you, but I'll never hold a grudge. I think a thousand dollars would be fine to hand you down. And 30 days of lodging will be free upon the town. Well, Margie says to Reggie, that's a hell of a deal we struck. We might have lost the cow, but we still have got the truck. And now they're back in Newfoundland, they're loading up the pig. Cause Margo got the cargo boy and Reggie got the rig. Here we go. Reggie got the rig. Reggie got the rig. Margo got the cargo boy and Reggie got the rig. Reggie got the rig. Reggie got the rig. Margo got the cargo boy and Reggie got the rig. Here we go. Every tour I was on, there was always a great fiddle player with Tom. In fact, he played fiddle himself. And uh, whenever he got a fiddle to tour with, it was always, boy, one of the best. Uh, I remember there was J.P. Cormier, who's a fantastic maritimer, and 
Yeah, fantastic. Ultimate uh, all round uh, musician. And the last uh, tour we did with Tommy was Graham Townsend. And then whenever we did the birthday parties, uh, we'd bring Randy Morrison. It just so happens that Randy is five time Canadian national bluegrass fiddle champion. Uh, Randy's famous for something else now, too. A few years ago, we recorded the, what we're going to play right now, which is three, the three most famous, most, most popular Canadian fiddle tunes. We call it the Fiddle Medley. And we recorded it, we filmed it, and we put it on YouTube, I don't know, three or four years ago. And what are we up to now, Randy? We're up to 265,000 hits. And for fiddle, folks, that's, uh, that's viral. It doesn't get any bigger than that. This is why he's number one. Great Randy Morrison. The three most popular fiddle songs in Canada. That was Maple Sugar, Big John and Neil, and St. Andrea. You know, we just sometimes have to slow it down a little bit. Girls are out to bingo The boys are getting stinko We'll think no more of Inko On the Sudbury Saturday night The glasses they will tinkle 
Their eyes begin to twinkle And we think no more Of a cool On a Sudbury Saturday night One, two, three All the girls are out to bingo The boys are getting stingo We think no more of Inco On a Sudbury Saturday night as they will twinkle as their eyes begin to tinkle and the no no go on a summery Saturday night. Well, there's Scotty Jack McDonald and Irish Jim O'Connell and honky Frederick Herschel getting tight, but that's all right. And Barbie German Fritzies, there's with Frenchie getting tipsy and even Joe the Gypsy knows it's Saturday tonight. Now when Mary Ann and Mabel come and join us at the table to tell us how the bingo went tonight. And if they won the money, we'll be lapping up the honey boys Cause everything is funny, it's Saturday tonight Everybody! Well, the girls are out to bingo And the boys are getting stingo We think no more of bingo on a Sudbury Saturday night The glasses, they will tinkle And their eyes begin to twinkle We think no more of bingo on a Sudbury Saturday night Come on, Randy! Well, we'll drink the loot we borrow and recuperate tomorrow, but everything is wonderful tonight. We'll eat the dilly pickle and forget about the nickel, cause everybody's pickled, cause it's Saturday tonight. And the songs that we'll be singing, they might be wrong, but they'll be ringing, and all the lights of town are burning bright. It's back to work on Monday, but tomorrow's only Sunday. You have to have a fun day, cause it's Saturday tonight. Come on! Well, the girls are out to bingo, the boys are getting stinko. We think no more of inko on a summery Saturday night. The glasses they will tinkle, and their eyes begin to twinkle. We think no more of inko on a summery Saturday night. Do it again! Well, the girls are out to bingo, the boys are getting stingo. We think no more of inko on a summery Saturday night. The glasses they will tinkle, their eyes begin to twinkle, and we think no more of inko on a Sudbury Saturday night. One. One of the best rhymers, one of the best poets in the country, and this is why. One, two, yeah, you might think it's goofy, but the man in the moon is a new thing. He's sailing on to glory. Away in the golden dory Sailing on to glory Away in the golden dory Codfish Dan from Newfoundland He dreamt that he had three wishes He took bars and all the stars And turned them into big fishes He said the sky was much too dry And with the wavy motion The moon like a boat began to float Upon the starry ocean Yeah, you might think it's goofy But the man in the moon is a newfie He's sailing on to glory, away in the golden dory. Sailing on to glory, away in the golden dory. Take it away there, Andy. One night he strayed till the Milky Way and cast his net upon it. He spied the tail of a great big whale and harpoon hail his comet. He never had a putt for the fish that he caught, so he had to use the Big Dipper. And the Sun by Joe was a very good stove for cooking up a smelts and kippers. Well, you might think it's goofy, but the man in the moon is a new feet. He's sailing on to glory, away in the golden dory. Sailing on to glory. Now 
Now the northern lights that seem so bright like nothing could be grander. They're just weighed with a boon bolt made like a Newfoundland commander. Now don't you sigh and say, oh my, what a gross exaggeration. They'll tell you the dream was true and codfish Dan awakens. Yeah, you might think it's goofy, but the man in the moon is a newfie. He's sailing on to glory, away in the golden dory. Sailing on to glory, away in the golden dory. Duncan Fremlin, Whiskey Jack. You think this was good? I was in the green room. I saw a couple of brothers, maybe three, named Good. And a guy named Lightfoot, he's here. Stick with us. We are celebrating the birthday of Stompin' Tom Connors. Lots more music straight ahead. celebrating Stop in Tom's birthday. My name is Robbie Lane. I'm glad that you've joined us at home, and these people in the audience have been having a great time, haven't you? Yeah. So, Duncan, yeah. you have a guest. I have a guest. And so I'm going to get the heck out of okay. here and let you introduce Bless him. Bless you. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks very much. It's an honor to be on your show, by the way. Robbie's on the air at this time pretty much every night, uh, certainly during the week. So... Um, yeah, we have a series of special guests tonight, and this fellow right here, incredibly talented guy. He was with us last year as well, and uh, he, uh, boy, there's so much, so much to say about him. I'm just going to use my cheat sheets here. Bass player for Moxie Fruvis in Great Big Sea for many years. Uh, he is a film director, Cocksure Lads. If you've never seen that show, it's a Canadian flick. It's hilarious. You can see it. I think you can find it on iTunes. You can definitely find it on yes, iTunes. Yes, that's where I found it. Uh, he's the founder, founder of the Toronto Songwriting School, which uh, has retreats. Many of them are here tonight. He has retreats all over North America and Europe, and uh, so if you're an aspiring songwriter, he is a, uh, he's working on a new Canadian musical that we hope to see at Mervish someday. It's called Chelsea Sunrise, and he's recently sold out a solo show. Ladies and gentlemen, Murray Foster. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. You could have done the abridged version, Duncan. That was, that was, uh, that's, I appreciate that. Right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, first of all, happy birthday, Stompin' Tom. Let's have a round of applause for the man. How many people in this room are wearing long johns? Right? Right? Polar vortex. Right? It's, it's, it's Canada. Come on, people. Um, so here's a song. Here's a Stomp, Stomp and Tom song that I love. It's, um, uh, I was first introduced to it. A friend of mine uh, played me just the chorus. Uh, and I thought it was like the shortest Stomp and Tom song in history. I was like, that's great. It's a great little chorus. And uh, so when Duncan said, do you want to come and do the show? I said, I'll do the bug song. Uh, not realizing it had 14 verses that come at you like a freight train. So that's called karma, I guess. So, yes, here's the, uh, here's the bug song. When the good old holidays roll around, I'm the kind of guy who likes to be found just taking it easy, laying around doing nothing. So I drag my chair out over the lawn And just when all my cares are gone About a million bucks start carrying on And I'm cussing Well some caterpillar from up some tree Decides as far as he can see There's nothing to do but fall on me The damn worm And some dirty old fly is making it clear That he ain't had a bath in over a year So he's taking one down with my glass of beer Then it's still germs Bugs, bugs, bugs If I had them all in jugs I dig, dig, dig till a dig big hole was dug, 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 and that would be the end of the bug song. Yes, that would be the end of the bug song. Well, I try to sleep when I get the chance, but you just can't trust them cursed ants, and they're not satisfied till they're in your pants and you're crawling. With a spider web right across my face, I'm looking around for a better place till a couple of hornets take up the chase, and I'm howling. 
Well, the... Damn. I knew it was going to happen. That's right. Well, I head inside and I hold my breath to find some stuff in the medicine chest for the welts I got in the spot you guessed where I'm sitting. And the wife is mad because I forgot to get stuff for the fleece that the kitten caught from some old dog on the neighbor's lot. She's ripping. Bugs, bugs, bugs. If I had a ball in chugs, I'd dig, dig, dig till a big, big hole was dug, 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 dug. And that would be the end of the bug song. Let's hear some fiddle. I chased the moth from the middle drawer who chewed the clothes I used to wore and I jammed my thumb in the bedroom door trying to catch him. And the mosquitoes, they all know their skill cause one pride opened my window skill and he lived through the air with a busted drill and I'm scratching. Well, you might think I'm a little rough cause I don't go in for this nature stuff but I've just enough, had just enough of them bugs. And your backyard might be okay, but I'm going down to get me some spray because my little place is walking away with them bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs. If I had them all in jugs, I'd dig, dig, dig till a big, big hole was dug, 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 dug. And that would be the end of the bug song. Once more, now that would be the end of the bug song. Yeah! Murray Foster! Thanks, everybody. One day I'll know the words. Absolutely, fantastic. Thank you very much. And we're really honored to have another guest. Just He's just run right after the other. You have come to the right place, folks. We don't, we, there's no lull in this show whatsoever. Uh, this fellow has been a, a friend of the band for a very long time. Uh, you know him, I'm sure. Again, the introduction is going to be very long. I've got uh, tons of things to say about him. Uh, he's famous for many things. Uh, the Prairie Oyster, he was the leader of Prairie Oyster for many years. <laughs> has won, I don't know how many awards, uh, uh, how many Junos? Uh, six? Eight Junos, six. Russell? Six Juno Good, Good Awards. Good Brothers, eight. Yeah. Many uh, Canadian Country Music Association Awards, group duo, bass player of the year, etc. Entertainer of the year. Uh, he has been, uh, uh, received the SOCAN Lifetime Achievement Award, Country Music Hall of Fame. He's just, uh, and now he's, he's on tour with uh, promoting a new, a new album. And uh, he, I, I, I describe you, Russell, as the voice, maybe the wow. smoothest voice in Canadian country music. Russell DeCarl. Wow. All right. Do I owe you money? Can I just have a little bit more of my guitar? That would be great. Great to be here uh, for this event. Uh, I guess the closest I get to hang out, well, I did hang out with Tom a little bit, but the, um, I got to put a band together. I was asked to put a band together quite a few years ago now to uh, induct Tom into the, um, the Songwriters Hall of Fame, the SoCan Songwriters Hall of Fame, and uh, that was a real treat. And I got to do this song, and uh, Duncan usually does this song with the band, but he's let me do it tonight. And it was really a treat to do that. Uh, it really uh, was very moving for Tom. I wasn't sure. I think people were, they weren't really sure how he was going to react to that award, but he, he was very moved. And it was uh, a really great evening. We sailed away at the break of day to pull traps in all skin trousers. On the Susie Jack, but tonight we're back with a thousand pound of lobster. Oh, shanty town, gonna tear you down. I got money coming out of me stockings. Tonight I'm due to bushwhack Sue and take her to the gumbo cloggeroo. And we'll do a little gumbo clogging. We'll do a little gumbo clogging. There's fishing brews and a cohawk stew and a bowl of clam chowder. Just see me reach for that noofy screech When they diddle up the fiddle jiggle louder Hear the French girls sing and the guitars ring And the squeeze box squeakity squawking Me and my Sue gonna whoop de doo And take her to the gumbo cloggeroo Yeah, we'll do a little gumbo clog Yeah, we'll do a little gumbo clog Hey, Randy
There's Boots Menard and the Rough Richards and the girls from way down in Trackety. How many blue nosers and heron chokers? Well, we just don't know exactly. We'll pack them all in tight and we'll dance all right. Get the old barn floor just to rockin'. I'll put a ring dang do on P.I. Sue and take her to the gumbo clogger And we'll do a little gumbo clogging. We'll do a little gumbo clogging. Right, Doug? Jack, what a band. I want to tell everybody, too, that Russell and Whiskey Jack and the Good Brothers and uh, the great Cindy Church, we're going to sort of join forces this coming May, and we're going to make a mammoth tour to northern Ontario just as a group. This hasn't been done in years and years. And we're going to play all the major centers. We're going to play the Sioux and Sudbury, North Bay, and Elliott Lake. And uh, so if you have friends or neighbors up there, man, this is going to be, there's going to be a lot of memories made on this tour. So thanks, Russell, for coming tonight and singing that great song. We love Toronto, so we sing a lot about it. Douglas? I've been a streetcar driver about a dozen years I know that old Toronto city well There's a whole lot of people waiting on the track For the signal from my clanging trolley bell So put the pole up on the wire, open up the switch Time to get old Sparky rattling through She's red around the bottom and she's yellow on the top And I drive her like I drive her ought to do Cause I'm a TTC skedaddler I got a socket to my big red rattler I got a socket to my big red rattler Come on, ready, take me downtown You know I love my little wife at home I love my couple kids They often take the trolley to the park They know their daddy's driving All the people here and there And we'll be back again to pick them up at dark So kindly have your ticket ready When I open up the door Please move on back down the aisle I will take you down to work And I will bring you home again And I will try to render service with a smile Cause I'm a TTC I got a socket to my big red rattler. I got a socket to my big red. Here I go. I'm going to do that again. About a dozen years Know that old Toronto city well There's a whole lot of people Waiting on the track For the signal from my clanging trolley bell Cause I'm a TTC 
daddler I got a socket to my big red rattler I got a socket to my big red rattler I'm a TTC skedaddler I got a socket to my big red rattler I got a socket to my big red rattler Oh, I got two socket to my big red rattler I got a socket to my big red Broadview Station Change here for cars going east or west. Douglas, John, Cam. Thank you. You know, the cool thing, besides you folks being here and, and obviously having a great time, uh, we're being we're being heard on AM 740, which reaches most of the province. It's amazing how far that signal goes. Uh, 96.7 FM right here in downtown Toronto. We're also being streamed on the internet, and I know for a fact that we have listeners in. Well, there's Pauline down east. There's Barb and Brian in Florida that are listening. There's Edwin in Saskatchewan. A very special. Uh, uh, shout out to Edwin in Saskatchewan, maybe Tom, Stomp and Tom's favorite or f uh, best fan. Uh, we also have Leona Boyd, who's at her summer ho her, her winter home in Florida. And I'm just going to read a quick thing here. Uh, Leona sent a message. Uh, she says, "Thank you, dear Stomp and Tom, for helping launch my fledging career." I don't know if you know, but he was the first one to sign her back in the early days before she became a big star. Yeah, yeah. Well, he Tom had a record label, a couple of record labels. And she says, you're one of my heroes for being such a fervent patriot, singing about Canada and Canadians and taking your music to every nook and cranny across this great country as well as overseas. So, yeah, Leona Boyd. And, uh, and my sister Judy, happy birthday to her. And there's a lot of other birthdays. I know the Good Brothers are celebrating a birthday last week, uh, Brian and Bruce. And uh, there was a picture of them and, on Facebook the other day, and they looked adorable. They just... <laughs> Really cute. They were in their little buggy or something. I don't know. It looked like they were behaving uh, badly. Stompin' Tom, we think of him all the time. He's When we do a show, we often hear his voice and we see him spiritually, and he's in the room. And uh, so to that end, uh, Douglas wrote this song called Stories and Songs About Stompin' Tom. They still talk about them in the towns where we play. Timmins and Wawa, the Sioux and North Bay. The songs and the stories, the cases of beer. You'd almost think that he's standing right here. But he's gone, he's gone. The stage is empty, the curtain is drawn, but we carry them with us in the stories and songs. And old Bud is still rolling down that New Brunswick line. Margo and the cargo are doing just fine. And Alberta Rose and Red River Jane are stuck on the corner of Portage and Maine. And if you're in Sudbury on a Saturday night, you might get in, say something stupid, and get in a fight. Or up on the Mattawa with Mufferajo in some old lonesome hotel where nobody goes. He's gone, he's gone Like dust on the prairie or the darkness at dawn The stage is empty, the curtain is drawn But we carry him with us, we carry him on Through all of the years as they pass So come on now, raise up a glass to his stories and songs Oh yeah
guess he's gone. Douglas John Cameron. That's going to be on our new CD, which is coming out next month. It's called Rhymes and Good Times. And uh, the, the other, there's a, f there's a few interesting interpretations of Stompin' Tom songs going to be on that CD. And this is one of them. Douglas, are you, uh, are you pretty ready for this? Uh, I know there's people in this town at this show right now. His name is Bill Crothers, and uh, I know he's from this town. So, Bill, this, we'll send this out to you. Way down southern Ontario Never had a nickel or a dime to show Guy beeps up in an automobile Says you wanna go work in the tobacco fields Said I'll only give you seven bucks a day If you're any good you get a raise in pay Your bed's already on the bunkhouse floor If it gets a little chilly just close the door Tilsonburg, 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 Tilsonburg My back still aches when I hear that word Now I'm feeling in the morning anything but fine the farmer said he's gonna teach me how to prime He said you got to don and wear oilskin pants If you wanna go work in the tobacco plants Landed in a field, it was long and wide With one old horse and five more guys I asked them where to find the cigarette trees When they said bend over, I was ready to leave Tilsonburg, 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 Tilsonburg My back still aches when I hear that word Come on, Randy Tilsonburg, oh Tilsonburg, oh Tilsonburg, oh Tilsonburg. My back still aches when I hear that word. A lot of words in this song. You said only pick on the bottom leaves. Don't crawl around on your hands and knees. Prime your load cause you don't get paid For standing there picking at your nose all day With my broken back for bending over there I was wet clean through to my underwear Stuck to my skin just like glue The nicotine tar in the morning dew Tilsonburg, 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 Tilsonburg My back still aches when I hear that word Now the closest river was two miles from the place they was waiting for the boat to come. When well, they talked about making the kill, I was over the highway, I was down the hill. There's one thing that you can always bet if I never make another cigarette. I might get taken in a lot of deals, but I won't go work in the tobacco fields of Tilsonburg. Tilsonburg, Tilsonburg, Tilsonburg. My back still aches when I hear that word. It's my turn, I worked this out all day. the fancy ending. Are you ready? Whiskey Jack, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I have to say, Douglas, Songs and Stories, that is my favorite song now. That was beautiful. It really was. We are live here at the Zoomerplex, 96.7 FM in downtown Toronto, AM 740. And you can watch us at zoomerradio.ca. Celebrating the birthday of Stompin' Tom Connors. And we've got some guests coming up that you will not believe. Stay there. We'll be here. We are 
are celebrating the birthday of Stompin' Tom Connors. <laughs> Here live at the Zoomerplex, we've been listening to Duncan Fremlin and Whiskey Jack, and they've got some special guests now. This is going to be a set to remember, Duncan. Thank you very much, Robbie. Thank you. Uh, I've, had, I've had the opportunity to introduce these fellows before, and I, I usually start by saying when I first came to Toronto in the late 60s and early 70s, uh, we would regularly uh, hightail it down to the Alma Combo and drink copious amounts of beer and dance our, our, the li our life away four, or five, six nights a week, because that's how often they would play there. And uh, then they were at Carlisle, and they were just like an inspiration. And if there's a reason why I'm playing the banjo today, it's this fellow right here. Uh, they have uh, eight Juno. I mean, I, get, I don't know, eight Junos, Halls of Fame, International Country Music Hall of Fame. It just goes on and on. Their very first gig was at the Riverboat for crying out loud. <laughs> Come on. The Good Brothers. And they tried to rob the mail Now I'm in Toronto City In the old Don Valley Jail I'm in the old Don Valley Jail Little darling, do a favor for me Don't tell mom and dad It would break my heart to know Their only son had turned out bad And if you should see my sisters Please don't tell them I'm in jail I still love you, little darling. I'll be waiting for your mail in the old Don Valley Jail. As I look through my belongings, there's our pictures of the sea. But the picture that I cherish is that one of you and me. Is that one of you and me? I'll be trying for probation. There's a man who comes around. Put your fingers crossed and pray that I'll be Nova Scotia bound. I'll be Nova Scotia bound. Little darling, do a favor for me. Don't tell mom and dad. It would break my heart to know that their only son had turned out bad. And if you should see my sisters, please don't tell them I'm in jail. I still love you, little darling. I'll be waiting for your mail in the old Don Valley Jail. As I write, I think of someone who once said it always seems when they take away your freedom, then you'll know what freedom means. Yes, I know what freedom means. So I hope you get my letters in the Nova Scotia mail. I'll be waiting in Toronto in the old Don Valley Jail. I'm in that old John Valley Jail. Little darling, do a favor for me. Everybody. Don't tell mom and dad. It would break their hearts to know that her only son had turned out bad. And if you should see my sisters, please don't tell them I'm in jail. I still love you, little darling. I'll be waiting for your mail. I'll be waiting for you there in the old John Valley Jail. I spent a night there once. You spent a night in the Don Valley Jail, Bruce? Or Brian? Just in the holding Just tank. Just in the holding tank. Okay, it's no big deal. That's happened to all of us, I'd say. Well, I'm absolutely honored to. I'm going to keep this really short. I would like to introduce, ladies and gentlemen, Gordon Lightfoot. So 
Carpentine was a great influence on me. Uh, the first time I, I heard him was in 1963. Uh, I tell you, I, uh, I, saw, I went to see him at the, uh, the first time at the Horseshoe Tavern, and I followed his career along through all these years. And uh, uh, I tell you, if you ever want to read an interesting book, he wrote a book called Before the Fame. And uh, I remember I was at his house one time, and he, he said, you know, Gordon, he said, I remember everything that happened from the time I was three years old. And I, I said, how can this be possible? And he, he handed me one of the books. He's written two volumes of autobiography. He's a great, great writer. Uh, that after reading this book, I, I understood that he did indeed. I mean, this book was about that thick. And remember everything that happened to him from the time he was three years old, chapter after chapter, page after page. He remembered everything. It was unbelievable. After all that, we're going to do a Gordon Lightfoot song. I and don't know this why, is, why we're doing one of mine. This, I mean, I, I used to do Sudbury Saturday Night myself in my show. And, and, you know. and, and this being a tribute to Stomp and Tom, I know uh, I, we've known Gordon for geez, 40, well, 40 or more years. 40 or 50 years. And I know, I know how he feels about Stomp and Tom. He was the one who turned me on to him. I went to his house and he said, listen to this, Brian. You won't believe it. This is a guy who sings about ketchup and, and french fries. No, but he's mentioned every, every small town in Canada. Yes. Because they, they hitchhiked back and forth about four or five times. Uh, they, they, everything was done by hitchhiking. The foulest of weather That's that, right. they, that was described in some of these hitchhiking things was unbelievable. That's, that's Canada. And, and that's what makes the song so what are they, they, appropriate they, today, they didn't tonight. freeze to death. Yeah. Well... <laughs> I won't talk about that tonight. Gord said in the uh, in the dressing room, he said, you know, this song is perfect because Tom must have hitchhiked across Canada two or three times, and I'm sure he made his way to Alberta well, yes, he did. a time so or two. It's appropriate, then, that, that, we, that appropriate. we do do this song. Thank you. OK, right. another yeah. tribute to the great Stomp and Tom Connors by way of Gordon Lightfoot. And yes, yes. Well, how about starting this with a little banjo over here? Larry Good on the banjo. And I think we're going to need a little bit of guitar here from Brian to my right. And then there's this Bruce guy over here playing the auto art. What do you think, Bruce? And then it's Whiskey Jack. And we give you Gordon Lightfoot. I get to start. Oh, the prairie lights are burning bright. The Chinook wind is moving in. Tomorrow night I'll be Alberta bound. And though I've done the best I could, my old luck ain't been so good. Tomorrow night I'll be Alberta bound. No one I met can air forget a rocky mountain sunset. It's a pleasure just to be Alberta bound. I'm on to see my next of kin and know what kind of shape they're in. Tomorrow night I'll be Alberta bound. You got it, Gordon. Alberta bound. Everybody, Alberta bound. It's good to be. It's good to be. Alberta bound. Everybody, Alberta bound. Alberta bound. It's good to be. It's good to be. Alberta bound. Toronto is something you'll get on to, but they say you've got to live there for a while. 
And if you got the money, you can get yourself a honey with a written guarantee to make you smile. But it's snowing in the city, yeah. the streets are brown and gritty, and I know there's pretty girls all over town, which never seem to find me, yeah. the one I left behind me is the reason that I'll be Alberta bound. Alberta bound, Alberta bound, it's good to be Alberta bound. It's good to be Alberta bound. Alberta bound. Alberta bound. It's good to be Alberta bound. It's good to be. It's good to be Alberta bound. It's good to be Alberta bound. Tom Connors can't get any better than that. The tension grows and the whistle blows and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps and the players bump and the fans all go insane. Someone roars, Bobby scores at the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game, it's the best game you can name. Okay, everybody's going to have to sing it. Game. It's a good old hockey game. Okay, you know, that's just the warm up, but you got to understand, folks, Tom's up there. Or he's somewhere, and he's watching us. He's a little hard of hearing. He would be 83 today, so you're going to have to sing a little louder than that. Well, skates the flash, the players dash, the home team trails behind. And they grab the puck and go bursting up, and they're down across the line. They swarm the crease like bumblebees, travel in a burning flame. Someone slides the puck inside, it's a 1-1 one -one hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Okay, that's just the warm-up. We got another verse, and I gotta tell you, you're gonna have to do a whole lot better than that. First, the very first song we did with Tom on our tour in 1993 was in Parliament Hill in front of 500,000 people on July 1st. If you've never been to that event, you really have to go. And he got a little nervous. He got the, he got the uh, verses mixed up, but, but it goes a little bit like this. Oh, take me where the hockey players face off down the rink and the Stanley Cup is all filled up with a chance to win the drink. One final flick of a hockey stick and one gigantic scream. The puck is in, the Leafs win, the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name Keep it going. is the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old. One more time. Let her out. Let's just let her out. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Thank you. Thank you, Robbie Lane. Thank you, Zoomer Radio. Thank you, man. On Whiskey Jack, Gordon Lightfoot, the Good Brothers. Wow. 
Happy birthday, Stop and Tom. Stay with us. The 9 o'clock mix is next. fight you in the parking lot. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, there's some people in the audience who are from my hometown and, uh, and, and, and it's, my, it's my sister's uh, uh, 74th, she's not here today, but, but she used to work at this place. It's called uh, Algoma, the Algoma Center Railway. So I, I love singing this song, it's my hometown. It's called Algoma 69, it goes like this. A one, two, three, four. She's on a bar, hopping spree, back in Sault Ste. Marie. Because of me, she's like a fallen star. She would have been true, but I left her in the Sioux and traveled north upon that ACR. Well, it's go home or be Rome, or I made up my mind. Take me home tonight, I'll go to Central 69. I was working one day, and I heard this fella say, he met my gal while drinking in a bar. We fought between us two, but he swore that it was true. I cursed the day I rode that ACR. It's go home or be a roamer, I made up my mind. Take me home tonight, I'll go my Central 69. for the train I hope it's not too late to right the wrong when it's coming round the bend we'll be southbound again come on old ACR wheels move along well it's go home or be a roamer I made up my mind take me home tonight I'll go my central 69 help me out Douglas she's on a bar hopping spree back in Sault Ste. Marie because of me she's like a fallen star have been true, but I left her in the zoo and traveled north upon that ACR. Let's go home or be a roamer, I made up my mind. Take me home tonight, I'll go to Central 69. Take me home tonight, I'll go to Central 69. Look out! Thank you very much. There's cake. Let's go out and have some cake. Thanks, everybody.